Now, a survey carried out in the UK last year found a shocking disconnect between children and food production. 5% believe that strawberries grow inside the fridge, although my fridge that is possible actually at times. And more than a quarter of the kids questioned didn't actually know that carrots grow in the ground. Ta a Garden to Table is a not-for-profit organisation trying to educate Kiwi kids. Linda Taylor is here to tell us more about it. Linda, good morning. Good morning. So what happens? Your volunteers go into schools and what happens then? They do and it's fantastic actually because it's Volunteer Awareness Week this week so it's a great time to Excellent. talk about volunteers. So volunteers help out in the kitchen and in the garden. They work with groups of four or five kids and just help supervise and encourage them to um, you know, really get stuck in and have a go. So you're helping them grow veggie gardens and then you're taking those veggies and you're making things with them. That's right. It's really the whole food supply chain. So they harvest or they grow the food, they harvest it, then it's seasonal, they take it into the garden, cook a nice meal, and then they all sit down and share it at the end. That's really rewarding. Fantastic. That's rewarding for anyone, let alone yeah. kids. So you had three schools in 2009. That's right. And now there's 43? 43. Um, mainly Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch at the moment, although we're about to launch nationwide, which is really exciting. Wow. So, but yeah, it's a great project great program. So you're seeing the benefits obviously? The benefits are really exciting. We're seeing kids eating more vegetables, eating a wider range of vegetables, taking them home and growing vegetables at home and you know, getting their family and their whanau and their community more engaged in um, eating good food. So what are the really e easy interesting things that they like in growing? Well um, Carrots, purple carrots are great, and um, beetroot, snake beans because they're long and they're curly. So anything that's really interesting. But the breadth of knowledge that they have really astounds me. It's not just your average, you know, three standard vegetables. It's not a tremendous range. Now we mentioned the stats at the beginning of the show about mm. the UK kids. How have you found it with New Zealand children? Do they recognise the veggies? Or? It varies, I think, from area to area and school to school. But we do find that when we survey them at the beginning of the program and then after a year in the program, they know far more vegetables. In fact, um, Al Brown, who's just come on board as our ambassador, um, I was at a school with him this morning and they managed to set him right. He got one of his vegetables <laughs> wrong. Oh, good on them. So, so we had these 10-year-olds getting him, you know, correcting him in the garden. And so, what, what about the parents and the teachers? Are they seeing a change in the kids? They are. And it, one of the things I love about the program is that it's much broader than just getting kids to garden and work in the kitchen. You know, particularly kids that don't thrive in a traditional classroom environment. You now there's this sense of pride, this sense of achievement. They're using maths and science mm -hmm. and English out of the classroom and really, you know, expanding their knowledge through all their subjects. And they could be finding career paths as well. Finding career paths, yes. Is it just in low decile schools no. or right across the board? No, all across the board. It's about getting all children in New Zealand excited about growing and eating vegetables which sounds like a bit of a hard sell but you know what kids are like if they do something themselves and they've got this tremendous pride in it mm. that they want to eat it and they want to share and show what they've done so it's really about teaching them through joy and having fun. So how do the schools get involved if they're keen to get on board? Come to our website is the best thing to do so that's www.gardentotable.org.nz and we are just launching our online program which means that schools all over the country can take part. That's exciting. So global domination. Global domination, absolutely. And eating veggies, kids eating veggies, that's what we like to hear. That's right, and having fun doing it. Oh, Linda, thank you so much for Pleasure. coming to the cafe today. You have inspired us all to get kids growing. Um, and if you or your business would like to support this not-for-profit organisation, you can go to the website that we mentioned before. It's on screen for more information.